We're going to be drawing our shoes from observation. It's important to keep your shoes in front of you so that you can look back and forth between your drawing and your shoes just using your eyes. When you get started, try to visualize your composition. I like to use ovals just to simplify the object down to something that is easy. It's a good idea to work with proportion at the beginning. I like to divide my ovals in half so that I can figure out where the major features will fit on my shoes. After I've mapped out where the major features will fit, I'll go in with some line work to start to create the details. Shoes are a wonderful subject for a self-portrait study. Think about what they say about you as a person. They can show you where you've been and who you aspire to be. I'm continually looking at my shoes on the desk in front of me while I'm drawing. This helps me to develop a more critical eye and to stay focused. Observational studies like this are a great way to develop your confidence in drawing. If you think about it, these kinds of drawings are not that much different from doodling. The more that you draw, the more that you develop a visual language of your own. One simple line drawing can become a value drawing later, or a painting, or an illustration using marker. This is simply a starting point with many possibilities. I'll finish my drawing by tracing over my line work with a thin drawing pen. This is the easy part, and a step that I'll need to take in order to turn this into a painting. Look out for my next video where I'll be sharing some pointers about using watercolor paint.